Hi friends! Today I wanted to take you along with me so that you can have a glimpse into what life is like as a mom in Kenya, living off grid, living in a tiny home with four kids, homesteading, homeschooling, all of that. It's very different than our days were back when we lived in Canada. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to bring you along with me, see what I get up to in the day. Um, right now it's morning, we just woke up and it's pretty chilly. I've got my coffee, um, the kids are having some hot chocolate on the bed with Henry right now staying pretty cozy. So come along. We are a homesteading, homeschooling, missionary family of six living off grid in Kenya. Oh, and did I mention we only live in 224 square feet? Five in a bed. <laughs> Watching on our big screen TV. chilly morning uh, we usually do homeschool outside but, but today we are staying cozy and doing it on the bed s says oh slow awesome very good slow what about this one that starts with the b so next on the list is homework for my swahili class i usually get it done the day of <laughs> It's just life on a homestead with four kids. Every day is so incredibly busy, so um, I am just getting my homework done before my class. Today's Monday, I do classes on Monday and Friday. Um, I have a decent understanding of Swahili, but I'm definitely not speaking fluently yet, and that is my goals. I do them online with a tutor from Nairobi. I wasn't able to find anyone in person here in our little town. So today um, we were studying time in Swahili, so I've just been getting some homework done for that before my lesson. Next up is laundry. So we do have a laundry machine and it is able to run with our solar, which is awesome. Where we live there is a ton of sun, so there's never an issue with our solar. Um, we didn't used to have a laundry machine. I was washing laundry by hand for five of us, but when our last born Emma came along, washing clothes by hand for six kids, it was really, really tough. And it took the whole day. So we did buy a washing machine, which I am so, so thankful for, but we do hang it up to dry because honestly, there's so much sun here. <music> some water so oh man they're not really chicks anymore they're really growing so let's go we um make our own animal feed so most of our animals actually the chickens and the ducks are all free range and we find that they are a lot healthier that way. The chickens give us more eggs. Right now I'm just doing the dog food so we uh, change it up. Today on the menu we're doing ugali and matumbo. Matumbo uh, in English that's intestines. That's cow intestines. So they're getting their protein. They're getting um, ugali is just made with maize flour, um, sometimes we do rice, sometimes we do a mix of, well Henry, what would the, what's the uji mix that we do? Millet. Millet. 
um, sorghum. Sorghum, a bunch of different good stuff. Yeah, even our root. Mm -hmm. So breakfast for our doggies, we feed them twice a day. We do give them fish sometimes. Um, we give them a lot of eggs because we have those in plenty from our chickens. And we just find that making our own animal food, even though it takes more time, it's a lot better than um, the store-bought dry kibble for dogs. Eat. Good boys. Okay, so I'm just in the Shamba. Um, I want to do some watering. We had a really quick lunch, so I didn't even bother filming that. Um, we do have a sprinkler, so we just kind of rotate it around. We just have one for now. Hopefully in the future we'll get more, so I won't have to move it every few minutes. And there's just a few things that I also like to water by hand, which is what I am doing right now. We have some beans along our fence. We have black beans, kidney beans, chickpeas, lentils, um, a little bit of everything. So those ones I do by hand where the sprinkler can't reach. Um, otherwise, in between taking care of the kids and cleaning and this and that, I am going to just be rotating the sprinkler around our shamba. busy day today. I just want to take a quick little rest. Um, I'm gonna go find Henry. I think he's actually in the chicken coop. I've just made some coffees. It's really cold today and we have some leftover birthday cake. The kids have made this cake. It's pretty sugary but it's also pretty tasty. So I'm gonna go find Henry and have a little tea time um, break. Are planting some watermelon seeds because I had about 30 seedlings and then they all dried up in the sun and I've got there I've got one and two left and on top of this what I've done is I've actually put um, rabbit droppings and some of the straw is there that had their urine on it so that's kind of what you see we've got a mix going there and it really helps <laughs> mm -hmm. it helps the soil be super fertile Okay, and then yes, and then you put it in there. Okay, do you need another one? Yes, like that. Oh, even Nemo wants to try. Okay, and the next tool. All right, so Nema is just down for a nap. We finished homeschool for the day. I want to harvest a few spices and herbs. Um, we've really tried to stop buying any type of spice from the store. So now we have our own oregano, we have our own thyme, we have our own sage, etc., etc. So today I'm gonna to harvest some herbs and make kind of my own mixed spice. 
I want to make my own. I'm going to pick a variety of herbs and I'll show you how to dry those and use those in your cooking. So we've we've got two different types of thyme. This is a winter thyme and this one I forget what type of thyme it is. <laughs> I forget the proper name but we're just going to take a twig, a couple twigs of that. I love it in salads. It's also great in honestly everything so I'm going to make a couple different mixed spices one for salads and one that I can use in my cooking so we've got some sage thyme and we have oodles and oodles of rosemary so I'm definitely gonna take some of that too so on to the oregano this is one of my favorite spices they are just lovely we've got one type here Here's the other type here, and this is probably the one you more commonly find in the stores. Here's, here's another type of oregano here. So I'm just gonna mix it all up. And in case you're curious, if you do live in Kenya, um, these we bought at a farm for, I think it was 180 shillings each. That is just under $2, considering that we don't ever have to go and buy herbs again and spices at the store I think it's a pretty good deal because they'll just keep growing and growing so we never have to we'll never have to buy um, these spices again next up is basil um, basil is again so lovely in sandwiches salads um, cooking with tomato sauce honestly really everything um, I accidentally let my basil flower uh, this is the first time I've ever had basil so I'm actually gonna pick off those flowers and I hope it's gonna keep growing as you can see it's kind of flowered not the end of the world we've got a few of these plants so I'm gonna just try to harvest some of these nice leaves um, well I can and then we'll pick off um, kind of prune the flowers Last but not least, we have some tarragon here. It's not looking very good. <laughs> it's got a little bit dried up. It needs to get some water, but this one is really nice um, in with meat dishes or even beans. And this one, I forget what it's called, but it's also a nice um, one to use with meat dishes. And then we've got some fennel here. There we go. We've got a dish full of spices. So I'm gonna go ahead and start washing and drying these and I'll show you how to do that in a minute and um, then I can use them and I'm gonna kind of divide them up between salads because we don't buy salad dressings we make our own from scratch so salads and for kind of like a mixed spice for cooking likely with either meat dishes or beans so hopefully I'll get that done at some point but I'm pretty sure Nema has probably woken up so I better go check on her I've got my garden garden helpers today <laughs> I'm going to shift the sprinkler again okay that sprinkler is ready to go so let's get out of the way Zawadi so we don't get wet all right Zawadi she's gonna help me turn the sprinkler on turn it all the way girl <laughs> Just turn it. You say? Yes. Use your muscles. There you go. And more? A little more. You did it. It's on. <coughs> I'm just giving my herbs a little rinse and then placing them on paper towel to dry off. Okay, so I've just got my um, herbs. They are washed and have kind of dried. So I'm just going to throw these in the oven. Normally, I would air dry them for about two weeks, but I would really like to use these spices at supper. So I'm just going to pop them in the oven on a pretty low heat. All right, my herbs have dried. Um, I had them in the oven for maybe 20 to 25 minutes on really, really low heat and they've turned out awesome. We can officially trade in Tropical Heat's mixed spice for our own mixed spices. I've just got Zawadi down for a nap and um, everyone else is happy. Michelle's doing some Lego, Maisha's playing with Dupla blocks and Nema is looking at the bunnies. So I'm gonna take advantage and try to get some work 
done. Henry, um, he does most of the on-field work ministry here. Of course, when I join him, I love to because, you know, sharing God's love and grace is just what we absolutely love to do. But for now, as a mom of four, a lot of my work is doing admin. <laughs> admin work, um, talking with supporters back and forth. Um, today I need to write up a newsletter and let people know what we have been up to during the past month. I'm hoping that the kids um, give me a bit of a break. We'll see. Usually I do this with Nima running around my legs, so it's just kind of mom life and how it goes. I It is almost five o'clock, so we have a lot of kale growing right now in the shamba, in the garden. I usually give it to the rabbits and the ducks love it too, but we also love it. And since we have an abundance of it right now, I am going to uh, get some for our supper. Ready for bed. 